everybody, welcome back. It's Gina. This is the Firefly Studio 67. I want to welcome all of you back today. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Uh, I've got four more entries for my friendship journal to share with you guys. So I'm just going to jump in. The first one I'm going to share with you guys is from Loretta Allen. And this is Loretta's page that she's created for me. She's got a uh, channel here on YouTube, so I will put that in the uh, description box below so you guys can check her uh, creations out. She's a very talented artist. Absolutely love the page that she's chosen to create for me. Uh, she's done a lot of fussy cutting here. The image is absolutely gorgeous on this. And then she's come through and she's put a lot of little bits of uh, lace flowers and then the trim up here that's been layered on some more lace it's absolutely gorgeous she's back this with um doily behind i mean there's just multiple layers and i don't know if that's going to show on the camera but I'll try to give you a bit of a close-up so you can see really beautiful loretta thank you so much so if you open this up oops, sorry those have come out if you open this up, you can see that she's reinforced this with some washi tape so that I can stitch that in. And she's got a lot of greens and purples, which are my colors. <laughs> so this is gorgeous. This has been tea dyed, this lace. And then she's come over and it layered it with some more. And then inside you've got um, the beautiful vintage lady uh, images on this. I love it. She's done a lot of stitching, which I love as well. But that paper is just beautiful. And the images she's chosen are gorgeous. And she, this has been stamped here. Beautiful, Loretta. And that is a, such a pretty picture of a woman. She's picking out um, the water lilies. She's done some fancy stitching along that image. And then look at the back of that paper. That is beautiful. Really, really beautiful. And then here you've got another lady who's walking through a meadow of flowers. So this is just beautiful, Loretta. Thank you so much. This is definitely my style. And it's really nice because everybody's kind of kept within the... You know, I didn't ask for any specific um, theme because I wanted it to be whatever was... Um, whatever the artist was passionate about because we've all got very different um, styles and... But it's worked out nice because everything that's come through is all within the same color. So I do appreciate that. Look at this. She's added all of these um, flowers that she's layered up and the petals for the leaves. It's just beautiful. She's done some stamping back here. So this will give me room. I can do some journaling there or add some photos. So that's really nice. And then on the back here we've got the green... Uh, <clears throat> scrapbooking paper that's carried over and then she's fussy cut the beautiful little birds there and this is just a gorgeous image here and again she's added um, lots of little snippets of lace and flowers that have been layered she's done some stamping on that it is just so pretty and then if you open up here she's got a um, this is two envelopes that she's um, put together so that you've got a couple of pockets and I believe there's a journal card in this pocket as well. Yeah, she's got several little things there. That is a beautiful image. And that's her stamp and then her signature. So I love that, Loretta. Thank you. And then here she's taken some extra paper, cut that out, inked it so I've got more writing space there, which is nice. Tuck that back in with that little journal card. And then I love that um, little tag she's made. She's got some seam binding here. Beautiful. And then on this side, She's got a lavender tag. I love that. That is gorgeous. And then again, I've got another beautiful old um, receipt. And she's 
put that onto either tea or coffee dyed paper, and that's been tucked in. Let me just make sure there's nothing else hiding in there. So that's tucked in along with the tag. Beautiful. And tuck that one in there. And then that folds over. And then back here, we've got another pocket. And that image is gorgeous. Got some teal, which I love. These are just totally my uh, colors. She's stamped all along that tag. That's gorgeous. And her um, sari silk that she's used for the, um, the top of the tag is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous, Loretta. Thank you. Thank you so much. And she was kind enough. I appreciate this so much, Loretta. She's included some beautiful um, napkins. Uh, you didn't need to do this, Loretta, but I really do appreciate the thought, thoughtfulness of, of putting those in because I am very limited on um, napkins, and these are gorgeous. So I've got a couple there that I can use for my Christmas journals, and this one is beautiful got uh, the fruits and birds in it and then all of the colors that I love the teals and greens and apples I love apples and this is another beautiful one yeah these are going to you'll be seeing these in some upcoming projects because I have got everything ready to start doing some uh, decoupage this is beautiful image with the butterfly and I love the autumn because I, I don't have any that for autumn journals. So this is awesome. Thank you so much. Another beautiful image. That's pretty with the hydrangeas. Yeah, those are lovely. Thank you so much. I appreciate that so much, Loretta. Okay, let me sit that over. I don't want to get these mixed up. And she sent me a, a really nice little card um, that's been included. The next entry is Chrissy Frew. And you guys know Chrissy, Chrissy's Addicts, here on um, YouTube. Everybody, I think, is familiar with Chrissy's work. It is it's gorgeous. <laughs> Um, but I will put Chrissy's channel below, um, and I had already seen this. She she did a um, a video showing it, but it is just amazing in person. Chrissy, thank you, thank you so much. Look at this uh, old vintage. I don't know if this was a scrapbook paper or maybe a digital, but it is gorgeous. She has some beautiful things that she works with, and this has been fussy cut this flower. That's tucked in, and I love how she's gathered the lace here. She's done a um, little bit of trim behind and then along the corner, and then this gorgeous charm that's been attached with a, a bulb pin. That is beautiful, Chrissy. I loved it when I saw um, your video, but it is even more beautiful in person. So that tucks in there, and then she had the little fussy cut flower here in this little pocket from the lace and that is just beautiful the way that lays. So you open this up. It did get a little bit bent Chrissy in the shipping but um, I, it will work its way out. So. so inside I love the way this looks. It is so pretty. Um, on this side she's got multiple uh, layers of old music sheets with either scrapbook paper or di digital images. It's difficult to tell because it's on thick paper. So, um, And then the, the image here showing through and then she's tied a bow here and that is beautiful seam binding. She It looks like she's tea dyed that and then she's added some more bling up here an old um, Australian postage stamp couple of those. Oh, they're, it's gorgeous. And then another um, lilac that's been fussy cut out. And then look at this. This is beautiful. A little stitching with tickets that's been tucked into that old vintage piece of lace. And then the little envelope. She's stamped on that. 
it's gorgeous. An old postage stamp, and I love these old uh, flowers. Beautiful. And that's on a heart that's been stamped. Oh, Chrissy, it is beautiful. I've looked, you know, I've been following Chrissy since I began this journey, and I've always admired her designs, and to finally have it uh, in my own hands is amazing. <laughs> I love it. Because I'm never quick enough to get one of her journals. She, her journals go very fast. But look at this beautiful image, and it shows through the lace that she's chosen. It's just so pretty. Another bit of uh, lace and some bling there. Another beautiful image on this um, tag that she stamped, added more lace to it, and that's been backed with either, looks like coffee dyed paper. Just one second, guys. It's getting a bit warm up here. It's, it's very cold here today, but um, sometimes my room can get a little bit warm. And look at this beautiful uh, bead dangle that she's made. That's so pretty, Chrissy. And then this opens up. And in here, she's... Um, She's taken the image and then she's backed it with like some baking paper or something. It's it's crinkly, so that I love that. <laughs> and then we've got another journal card and then Chrissy's card, and um, and then in here, Chrissy has written me a beautiful, beautiful little letter, and I appreciate that so much, Chrissy. Thank you. And then look at the little um, paper clip. That's so sweet. So that is nice because I have all of that tucked together in my journal, which I'm getting super excited about creating. It won't be, uh, well, I've still got, what, just just over four weeks, I guess, um, to get the entries in, and then I've got to start thinking about, I haven't designed the journal yet because I didn't know how many entries I would get, so obviously I won't know until I... It's over. Um, and then look at the back. I love this. Love what she's done here. And fussy cut, more music, um, sheet paper. And she stamped it with her stamp from Chrissy. And some more bling. It's beautiful, Chrissy. Thank you, thank you so much. And the next one is from Jean green and oops I'll put that back with that one um, and I she's wrapped it with this beautiful napkin so I will be able to make use of that isn't that gorgeous so thank you Jean this is absolutely gorgeous she's added this little um, envelope here and it's beautiful <clears throat> the work she's done on that is it's been it looks like painted maybe some um, of the tissue paper from Tim Holtz uh, stamping a lot has went into this little envelope and it is gorgeous and then here she's look at that card isn't that beautiful so she's written me a really nice little note in here and and then signed it with the date, and that is beautiful. She's embossed that tree. I love that. So that is tucked in here with my personal note, and then she's done this beautiful little um, note notepad there. Isn't that gorgeous with the little key to hold it shut? Thank you, Jean. That is precious. So her <coughs> journal page here, she's got her name here, great and then look at this on the front it is just beautiful she's got a pocket here lots of layering um, this is a gorgeous journal card a lot of different things going on there with some lace and then some backed uh, with some tea dyed paper and then this tag she's got this beautiful cutout of the butterfly and I love the colors on that that so this is like an altered paper clip isn't that fantastic I love that idea so she's got a double pocket on the front here and you can see she's decoupaged with that same uh, napkin so that is gorgeous and I love that image 
She said that she had gotten that out of a magazine. Isn't that beautiful? That's been tucked in there. Jean, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So that tucks in there. And I love how the butterfly peeks out. And then over here, she's got a couple of pockets here, and they are full, full, full. Look, oh, and the bee, the bee die cut. That is an amazing die. I love that. I'm just working on a bee uh, journal at the moment. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and then more of the decoupage. She's stamped. She feels like she's um, maybe even done a bit of gesso on there. And then filled it with just beautiful little journal cards. So I've got even more room. Um, and then this has got her, I won't put her, oh, I won't put her address. She is on Instagram, so I will put her um, Instagram in the description box because this has got personal information, so I won't show that. And I love that tag. She stamped it here. Isn't that beautiful? Really pretty, Jean. And then another beautiful little tag here. And I love the little uh, flower petal as the uh, tab. And then over on this page, we've got more decoupage on there. And I love the little bunny looking at the flower. So sweet. And then this tag has got a pocket on the back as well. Oh, these are gorgeous. Love those daffodils. And those are coming up now. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. She has done this. Draw, she drew this and painted it. Oh, that is so nice to have included that, Jean. Thank you. Very, very talented folks around, guys. And you all know that. Another beautiful journal card. But just, it's so nice to have these things in your hand from different people that you've seen and you've communicated with. It just means so much. So that tucks in there and then on the back, look at this, isn't this beautiful? Because I love cards, so that is absolutely me. I love to play cards and that is a gorgeous little um, paper clip. Isn't that beautiful the way she's layered that? So pretty. And I love that journal card. And then this one, that's beautiful paper as well. Beautiful. So those are clipped together. And then look at this one. This is like a patchwork journal card with stamping. Oh, it's beautiful, Jean. And then she's written me a beautiful note here as well. Oh, so, so nice. Buttons. She stitched buttons along there. Gina is beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. So let me set her jeans over here. And then the last one to show you guys today is from Michelle Wynn. And Michelle has... This one has come from California. She's included this with a beautiful note on the back. And we all know, you, you always think of those style houses when you think about California. So she has sent this entry. Beautiful image. Very, very nice. I loved, um, she sent me a really nice note telling me a bit about herself. So that is just great because it... In my mind, I can now visualize her life a little bit. So this flips over, which is, she's done a lot of, um, it looks almost like the eco-dyeing on this envelope. It is gorgeous. <laughs> and then here, this is one of the matchbook style notebooks, and that's some really heavy paper, so that's great. And then she's done stitching along there. Beautiful. Really, really pretty, Michelle. Thank you. And then a nice tag here. And look at that. She's done stamping and some, um, looks like some of the, maybe the inks, you know, with the, some stencils and things. And then she's made a really pretty little 
belly band here so that just fits in and there's an old stamp there with a tag. I love that. And then some beautiful fiber up here. And then on this side, this is really nice. Old um, handmade paper. And then she's fussy cut that image and put that on there. And she's um, into a lot of mixed media. This, this tag is just gorgeous. Look at that. She's um, cut that out. Stitched that. I love the color of the stitching. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So this is... Um, Coffee and Creativity, and she's got a blog, so I will put that in the description box so you guys can check her out. So that flips over, and then you go inside and look at this. Again, this is all handmade paper. She's stitched all around this with a beautiful stitch. And that is absolutely gorgeous. She's layered this. That's the um, the top of the envelope that's been adhered down um, to make a tuck spot here. And then a lot of layering and a lot of stitching. That's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And another beautiful um, eco-dyed, I think that's eco-dyeing paper. And then she's... Um, put that old label on there. That is such a beautiful tag. And then various um, other little tags. Those are tucked in there. And then over here got another, it feels like a, yes it's a handmade um, envelope, uh, paper envelope. And this looks like it's been turned upside down so it created a pocket and that's just beautiful. love the papers. I've not tried the eco dyeing, but I'm really <laughs> getting inspired by this uh, to give it a try. This is beautiful. And that looks like maybe she stenciled that on there, which is so pretty. Her stitching is just amazing. Really beautiful, Michelle. In the back, look at this, a beautiful double belly band. So it's created two pockets. And then again, a couple of more handmade tags or journal cards. And then this one is just beautiful. Look at that. Love it. Love it. Love it, Michelle. So different and uh, yet so me because uh, the colors are just going to go beautifully in this. Oh, thank you. Thank you guys so very much. I am so excited about this journal. So I wanted to share those with you guys because um, they're starting. things are starting to come in and I, I want to stay on top of it, but um, I'll probably, I don't know if I will have another video tomorrow, but if, if not tomorrow, in the next um, day or two, there should be enough to do another video. So thank you all so much for taking the time to participate in this. It means so much to me, and I'll be back very soon. You guys have a great week. Thank you.